Okay, y'all, She Was 7, part two. And I'm gonna title this one, Why a Man Will Not Leave His Wife. So, <clears throat> if you're dating a married man, these are the signs he's not gonna leave, okay? One, the woman does not have her own income, and he, she is supported by him. And she has young kids. He's not going nowhere, okay? You're just a side chick. Two, if he can't afford to leave, okay? If he's gonna be broke without her, he's not going nowhere, okay? Three, if you offer to take care of him and he can come live with you and da 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 even if he can't afford to get divorced, he's going to then realize that he's going to be in a worse off position because now you're the head of the household, you have something over him, and all his family's going to look at him crazy, his kids are going to look at him crazy, his wife's going to look at him crazy, he's going to be broke, he's not going to feel like a man anymore, okay? Um, and he won't be able to take care of you either. You're going to be taking care of him. And the, the next thing that you know a man is not going to leave his family is if he values the family. Like, if he values family life, he's not going nowhere. If he's always doing stuff with his kids and wife and going to functions and taking his kids to parks and stuff like that, he's not going nowhere. Okay? Um... If there's life insurance involved and his wife is the beneficiary and he's got all the wills and paperwork and all that stuff already done, he's not going nowhere. Like, it's going to be hard for him to get change all of that. And it's, it's just kind of like an inconvenience. Um, especially if you're the kind of woman that's going to wait around and not say anything and say, oh, he's going to leave one day. If you're not, you know, putting any, any fire under him or calling his house and making it hell to live there, he's not going nowhere. You know, it's too easy for him. He can have his cake and eat it too. So a lot of women get the call. And I want to talk about the call. I mean the call from the wife. And when you get the call, if you get the call, there's one or two ways you can go. You can apologize or you can play dumb and say, I don't know, uh, blah, 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 and help him out, help him stay with her. Or you can come clean, tell the entire truth, and say, you know, he talks about leaving you daily. He talks about you behind your back. Spill all the dirt on him and what he's talking about. Make his life a living hell to even live there. Okay? Now, he's not going to leave if you don't do this. Okay? If, if you're waiting on him, you're going to be waiting for a long time. Okay? Um... If he's not even separated, if he's not even trying to live apart from this woman, if he's still in her house paying bills and stuff, he's not going nowhere. You know, if you're still working and paying bills and you're dating a man who's married and stuff like that, and he just calls you to meet out for dinner, lunch, drinks, sex or whatever, that's all you're good for. So he's not going nowhere. You got um, you to understand this and not get caught up. Like, if you're dating a married man, do not fall in love. Don't fall in love. Make him, if anything, make him fall in love with you. But don't fall in love with him. Even if you got to date other men that he doesn't know about to keep yourself from falling for him. Okay? Because the only reason he's perfect in your eyes and a good guy in your eyes is because his wife probably made him that way. She probably taught him how to deal with women, how to talk to women, how to dress, how to do this, how to do that. Okay? Most guys are better when they're married and then when they're not married their house is dirty their clothes don't match you know they don't have that uh that quality about them so a lot of times when we see a married man we think we we see somebody all put together and who has their life together financially stable because they got a house and, da, 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 and maybe that can be mine no it's because he and that lady did that together he and his wife did that together okay so you have to kind of respect that and if you're not willing to step up to the plate and take what you want you got to leave it alone and go find someone who's single you know um there are two types of women in this world ones that stand back and let things happen as you know however one that take things into their own head and make things happen okay now which one are you and there's two kind of men in this world one who will eat, have their cake and eat it too and enjoy it until it's over. Lie to you, tell you they love you even though they're not leaving their wife and kids and they're just 
Did you? And then there's two other cards. They kind of is genuinely going to do the right thing. Uh, if he's not in love with his wife no more, he's going to say, look, I'm not in love no more. I'm going to leave. I'm going with this person. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> then you have, then you have the in-between, okay? Because they could go either way. So one day they might be this one and one day they might be that one. But if you have a wishy-washy one, you got to help them make up their mind because there's a lot of people who have hard times making decisions. So you have to throw something in the game to get them to make the decision, Okay. Now, if they choose their wife, you can't be mad because they're already married to them, okay? You just got to go move on and find a single man. Now, guys, guys who try to date married women, okay? Most married women are not dating to leave their husband. And if they are, they're trying to find somebody with more money. Or they're just getting revenge because their husband messed over them, okay? So y'all got to y'all gotta know that, okay? Or they're just bored and don't and not in love with their husband anymore and they don't think they're going to get caught and they're using him anyway. So what you got to do, like guys, if you're, if you want a married woman to leave their husband, you got to, you got to be better than her husband. <laughs> That's just point blank. You got to have everything he doesn't. So, like I said, like this one guy was watching my video and he's like stalking this lady who's married and he's like, um, been knowing her forever and she's like, uh, married and he's uh he went out on her with like one date a long time ago before they got married and he's like i call her she tells me to leave her alone and how can i get her to leave her husband and be with me and blah 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 blah, blah. I, and he's like is there anything you can do and i'm like anything i he's like anything i can do to to convince her to leave i was like win the lottery <laughs> Anything else besides that? I was like, well, if you're stalking her and she doesn't want you around and doesn't want you to talk to her and to leave her alone, no, there's nothing else you can do but win the lottery. <laughs> then she'll change her tone. She'll be like, oh, you know, I always liked you and I admire how, the, how you chased me. I admire that. And yeah, go win the lottery. You'll get her. So, yeah. And some guys, shoot, they'll leave their wife for a woman with more money too. So if, you, if you're a woman, you got money. You can date a married man and you have it like that, yeah, they'll leave you for them. Yeah, they will. Okay, um, money talks. And I'm I'm not trying to say it's right or wrong, but it's true. It's true. Um now there's some there's certain people who are comfortable and money won't matter to them because they have everything already. They're like, okay, well, I'm not going to leave you because me and you don't have this agreement on this. And if I come out of this situation and get into that, it's going to be worse. So, no, I'm going to stay here where I'm comfortable and in control. So, you know, lots of women and lots of men pass up wealthy people all the time who are trying to steal them away from their husband because of how they think. You know? So, it's also, you have to also be in, agree in, in agreement in this. Like, there's some women who run their husbands. They, they they are, you know, over their husbands. Their husbands do whatever they say. If they get a man and he's not letting them run them, she's going to be like, you know, I'm better off with him. He's, like, he's going to do whatever I tell him to do. Same with the same with the husband. If, if their wife is, like, submissive and, like, you know, fixing dinner and all, being mother to the children and, you know, doing everything that a wife's supposed to do or wants a man wants his wife to do because I don't do that. But he's not going anywhere. And if he is like tempted to leave the side chick and she's stubborn and spoiled and stuff like that, he's not going to marry her. So you have to know how the wife is and you be her times two. Even if she's a bitch, y'all. Even if his wife is a bitch, you got to be a bitch because that's what he likes, obviously, because he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so this is why men don't leave their wives because they like their wives. They might talk about her to you and everybody else, but at the end of the day, they're not going nowhere because they like that. What they're really doing is spewing out all this stuff that she says to him that's probably right, but he just needs someone to say that she's not right because he knows that he's wrong, you know. So he'll go get some backup and to feel good about himself, to stroke his ego, and then he'll go right back home and say, yes, yes, wife, yes, wife. So <laughs> if you get a man who talks trash about his wife, he's not going. Why? Because he just needs you to vent to, to give him everything that, that he doesn't deserve at home. 
Like, he must be doing something not to deserve the treatment that she should be giving him, right? So, basically, what he's doing is going to get it somewhere else, talking about her, then going back home to her. So, <clears throat> that's another one. If he talks bad about his wife to you, you're just the ear and the shoulder to cry on and the side chick, okay? If he doesn't say anything about her, if he won't talk about her, that's how you know that it's a little bit more, you know about something else so if a married man is trying to get you to date them and you've said no 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 and he's still calling first of all ask him what would you do if your wife found out watch his face if it drops he's not ready to leave if, it, if he smiles he wants to get caught okay some men cheat so they can get caught Y'all don't know this, but some men cheat so just so they can get caught. So they can have a reason to leave without looking like, you know, abandoned. You know, they'll say, well, we can work it out. I won't do it again. And he's lying and he knows that she knows he's lying. So basically, this is a way to get his wife to accept him cheating. And most wives won't do that. So sometimes they want to get caught. So if you ask the man, well, what if you got caught? Watch his face. Watch his face. If he goes like this, if he's at a loss for words, he goes, that means he don't want to get caught. If he smiles, he want to get caught. So use that body language to make your next move as far as, you know, continuing to see him or, you know, taking matters into your own hands. But like I said, <clears throat> you, you can date a man for years and years and years and they will never leave their spouse. You can date a man for two, three, four months, take matters into your own hand, and their spouse will leave them, okay? So it's it's all a matter of what your goal is, okay? There are women who will date a man, a man and they will fall in love with him, and they will, you know, if even if they're married, they will leave their husband for him, and then he won't leave his wife, and then not, now they're stuck, okay? Don't be one of those stupid people or the situation that they're in. Make him leave first, okay? Make him leave first. That way you know he's serious. So, um, and then there's some women who are too morally good and kind and sweet and who would never take the next step as, as far as calling the wife or making, paying a visit to the house or to the job or whatever like that, making yourself known. There's some women that won't do that. And those are the women who are easily taken advantage of because they don't know how to take matters into their own hand. Now. Like if you're out with a married man and he's introducing you to his circle and his friends and they know he's married and you you know he's married and he's not ashamed of it um <clears throat> and he introduces you it's like hi this is such and such um and he doesn't give you a title like this is my girlfriend this is my he'll say my friend and if you're if you're tired of hearing friend say no um hi nice to meet you i'm such and such his side chick Give yourself the side chick title. Make him embarrassed. Make everybody embarrassed for him. Let him know that you know your position. And say, and then say, but not for long. Like, telling him your future plan and just, you know, a little hint. So he's going to be like, embarrassed. First of all, he's going to be embarrassed that you said that. Then he's going to start thinking, what does she mean not for long? Is she leaving me? Is she going to take my wife? Now he's going to be scared. Then you're going to be like, and he's going to be like, why did you say that? What? Well, I am the side chick, right? I'm not your wife. I'm not your girlfriend. You're still married, right? He's so like, let's not talk about this here. I'm like, okay, well, um, what do you want to do? Do you want me to see other people? Because you're seeing someone else. You're married to someone else. And he's going to be like, oh, I don't want to talk about this. Um, blah, 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 blah. I was like, well, you know, I'm not exclusive to you. Say that. Say, I'm not exclusive to you. You know, you're married. I don't have to be exclusive to anyone who's married. Start making him feel stupid and bad and embarrassing him. And treat him as, as if you are already his wife. Okay, when you, when the side chick starts act, acting like the wife, when the side chick starts acting like the wife, he then feels a familiar feeling. 
and it draws him in closer. I know this is crazy. It's reverse psychology. It draws him in closer to you because now he feels like you care about him as much as his crazy wife does because now you're threatening him and giving ultimatums and embarrassing him and treating him less than a man, which is like what most wives do anyway. Now he's like, okay, well, if I leave my wife, I'm still going to get the same feeling of, you know, her feeling this way. And I like it. It, it feels comforting to me. And uh, I feel like she really loves me now. <laughs> so if you use the law of attraction to become a wife, act like a wife, even if you're the side chick, okay? Now, if you're saying, how do I act like his wife? Everything he complained about his wife, everything he tells you about his wife, start, start emulating it. Start acting like it, okay? Do the same stuff, okay? Do the same exact stuff. He's going to see what he sees in her and you. And if he's getting it from both sides, the side that's treating him better, giving him things he wants and, you know, uh, making him feel good about himself, he's going to take.